So I guess about two years ago, I started doing a lot of work in DashDB for Modeler, SPSS Modeler. So I, I needed to connect my Modeler, which was running on my PC, to the cloud database. And it was a pretty painful experience. It took me a couple days to figure out how to do it. Um, then about a year later, about a year ago, I had a VM and I had to connect the VM up to the cloud database and it just so turn it just so happens that I could remember nothing <laughs> from the previous year when I'd done it so I had to figure out how to do it again um, this time it only took me about a day or so but it still was pretty painful last week I had to connect another environment back up to dash DB and uh, it took me half a day so um, it's not that hard I promise it's not that hard but the documentation online just didn't make a lot of sense to me. So in this video, that's what I do. Is I just show how you can cook, connect a modeler running on a desktop or a server up to a cloud database and use that database to enhance the analytics you're, and models you're trying to build. So hopefully this is helpful. Thanks a lot. All right, so I guess first of all, as I go through this, I'm going to use two terms. Um, one is going to be uh, dash DB, and the other one is going to be DB2 on the cloud. Those are the, exactly the same thing. All right, uh, they changed the name of it re re recently. Uh, originally, it was called dash DB, but in the last six months or so, they've called it DB2 on the cloud. So when I say either one of those things, I'm really talking about the same thing. Okay, so to connect, SPSS modeler up to dash DB or DB2 on the cloud. Um, there's a couple steps you need to go through. Um, the first step is to get your driver. And when you get your modeler software, it comes with something called the standard data access pack, the SDAP. Inside the SDAP are many, many drivers that connect to just about any database you can imagine, with one exception does not include dash db driver. So the first step is to show you how to get, uh, download for free, the dash db driver off of the internet. And I, I'm gonna start out here at Google because, um, and I'm gonna, I would encourage you to focus more on keywords and driver names than actual URLs because at IBM we tend to change the URLs every now and then. So the name of the driver that we need is IBM, data server runtime client 10.5 download so if you put that in the browser you should get what you need there is actually a more recent version of this driver I've got 10.5 there's an 11.1 .1. I would assume that using that version of the driver is exactly the same as 10.5 but I don't know. I haven't done it. So this is this is the link that you need to look for, the IBM Data Server Client Package for just 10.5. So click on this. And this, this right here, this IBM Data Server Client, um, you can select your operating system. We need to use Windows 64. So that's what I have, but you, I think the process for Windows 32 or whatever would be pretty similar. So click here and then hit continue and then you will get the, a, the option to download. So you would click on download now and something called the download directory will pop up. This is an IBM thing. Um, the first time you do it, you may have to uh, download, install a Java doohickey inside your browser. Um, but just hit download now and it should you know, pop up, walk through a wizard, and it will download to either your VM or your hard drive, wherever you're installing the, uh, the driver. I'm not going to walk through that because that would be kind of boring. There's a wizard. It's pretty simple and straightforward. So I'm going to pause the video right now and download this software. All right, so once the, the software is downloaded, you should get this zip file, and you can extract this with WinZip or 7-Zip, whatever you have. All 
Okay, so once you have extracted the software, um, go inside the fo extracted folder and then there's an executable called setup. Just right click on that and run, or as it run as administrator, whatever you need to do. Um, and then again, it, it, it uh, brings up this, this GUI. You're going to want to install a product. And there's two things you can install here. The first is this IBM database add-ins for Visual Studio. You don't need that. Just ignore that. The one you want to install is this IBM data server client version. So just to click install. Um, I've already got it installed here, so it's giving me the option to you know, use what I have or install a new one. But I think for you, the first time, it will just say install. Just click on that. Again, it's a wizard, walks you right through it. Um, should, be, should be pretty simple and straightforward, just accept the defaults all the way through. So once you have the driver installed, the, the next step is to configure your ODBC manager so that it can connect to the DashDB database. Um, doing that again is pretty straightforward. You do have to go out to Bluemix or go out to DashDB and get your connection information. And um, that should be under your settings, um, under the database. Uh, there should be connection information. Um, there's a few things you need to get. Um, one is your user ID. Uh, two is your password. Three is the host name. Um, that's the URL that you're going to use to connect to uh, DashDB from your Windows environment. The second is the database. Or the, the next would be the database, then the port, and then the protocol. Um, and the protocol in this case would be TCP IP. So once you have that information, you go into um, your Windows administrator and then go into the ODBC data sources. Click on that. And you would just click Add. Uh, then your driver should pop up. And uh, the driver uh, that uh, you're going to want to use is this IBM DB2 ODBC driver. This is the one we just installed. And you can see I've got three copies of it because as I was testing this out, I installed it three different times. Uh, this right here, it comes as part of the SDAP, the Standard Data Access Pack. And it's for DB2, but it will not work. As far as I know, it does not work. I could not get it, get it to work. The only way I could get my, my Windows environment connected to DashDB was through this uh, ODBC driver. All right, so the last thing you would do would be to you know, select your driver and then hit Finish. And then you'll have the ability to uh, input all of the information that um, you would have collected from your DashDB environment, your connection information. So put, give it the data source a name. Um, we're actually, in this case, we'll call it Test1. Hit OK, and you can click on the Configure button and go to Advanced Settings, and you'll have the ability to click Add. And you can go down here and find Database, click OK, put in the database name over here, click Port, um, click Add or Change, and put in the port name. So anyway, just go through all these different, you know, put in your under the Advanced Settings tabs, go in and put in. Uh, go in and, and insert um, your connection information, click Apply, then click OK. Uh, one thing you can do to test it is to go through, uh, go back to the system DSN, click on it, go to Configure, and then hit Connect. And you should get a notice that you are successfully connected to the database. Then the last step would be to, I guess the very last step would be to go into Modeler, and then under Tools, go to databases and you should see the connection you just created. So, so the general idea, the way it works is that you use your Windows environment to connect to the database and then Modeler will exploit that Windows connection. So anyway, that's uh, how you do it in a nutshell. I think if you kind of know where you're going, um, it's not that hard. <laughs> if you don't kind of know where you're going, it can be very confusing. So hopefully this video helped. Thanks and have a great day.